So when I think about teaching, I think about this poem by Walt Whitman. And in this poem, Walt Whitman goes into this lecture hall. And there's this astronomer who's very smart, who's going through all these equations on the board. And he says he just starts to feel tired and sick. And then he slips out and he goes out into the moist night and he sees the stars and he sits there in silence and looks at the stars. And what excites me about teaching is that my job is always to try to bring the stars into the classroom. I want to open up the world of reality to them, which is overflowing with wonder and beauty. At Brookstone, we talk a lot about kids being made in the image of God. And part of what that means for me as a teacher is that I'm not some special person giving them something special. It's already in them. It's already there. I'm just helping to uncover it. I'm helping them have the tools to set it up, but they are already fully capable. They already are made in the image of God himself. One of my favorite philosophers, Joseph Pieper, says, we are not yet what we already are. And that sounds very confusing. But if you think about it, the kid is not yet what he or she already is. They already are fully capable. They already are made in the image of God. They already are this beautiful masterpiece. And they might not yet be fully there, but they already are that. They are already 100% a masterpiece. Teaching is one of the most effective ways I know of really becoming a part of somebody's story. It's so incredible and such an honor to walk alongside kids and be with them all day long. You have such a position of influence. It's such an honor to say, wow, these parents like have trusted me with their tiny humans and I get to spend all day with them five days a week. Part of teaching the whole child means recognizing that we are desiring beings. We have these appetites and we're not just these cerebral things. We're not, we're not robots, we're not computers. As, as a teacher, I'm not just undergoing some type of information transfer. Like here's what I'm inputting into you for this certain output. This is a living organism and a human being. One thing that I am absolutely so passionate about is exposing kids to things that are just worth being exposed to for their own sake. Like art or music or poetry that's just worthwhile in and of itself. In a world swirling with images, on Instagram, on TikTok, they're, they're inundated with images every day that are not worth seeing. And so in a world that's like that, I want to train them to just sit and look and attend to one thing that's worth their time that's worth their heart and their mind, and that's worth that engagement. We were looking at Henry Osawa Tanner's painting of the Annunciation, so when the angel Gabriel comes to Mary, I had a student tell me, Mrs. Lewis, that painting made me lose my breath for 51 seconds because it was so beautiful. When the kids see the intentionality behind the masters, and when they're compelled by questions to understand what was this person's intention? What was this author's intention? What was this painter's intention? What is he doing here? What is he communicating? Um, when they're compelled by those questions, it just generates an entire habit of lifelong learning. Brookstone just makes it possible for every kid, regardless of what neighborhood they're in, regardless of um, what school they're zoned for, to be able to have a quality education. And that matters so much. It matters so much to me. It should matter so much to everybody. Brookstone provides just this amazing opportunity that is structured, that is academically rigorous, that is Christ-centered for all kids. I have hope for my kids every single time. I just even hear them read and every single time I hear them understand what they're reading and enjoy what they're reading. Um, I have hope for my kids every single time I'm able to pray with them and every single time I'm able to just have a really honest conversation with them about their life and what's difficult and how the Lord speaks into that in a very real way. And I have hope for my students every single time that they just show up to school and we get to be together another day. One of the refrains that's constantly in my head, I want every single kid to know how beautiful it is that they exist. 
and that they're in the world and that they're who they are. And for not one of them is it random, for not one of them is it an accident that they're here. Um, for every single one of them, they are known and they're loved and they have a purpose and they have a reason for being here. 